Hey everyone, welcome back to Threducation. Today we're going to be talking about Drake and Nike's new sub-label Nocta. If you follow Drake on Instagram, you'll know that he first teased this new partnership back on November 22nd when he posted this mysterious video of what is presumably the official Nocta logo in bright lights against the Toronto skyline. Now at the time, this video didn't tell us much, but in the caption of the video, Drake simply tagged the Instagram account 12182020. This of course sent everyone into a frenzy because at this point, we knew Drake was going to be dropping something, and we knew it wasn't his new album Certified Lover Boy because he had already confirmed that that will be dropping in January of 2021. If you went to the Instagram account at the time the video was uploaded, you would see that the profile picture featured the same logo from the video, and the only photo on the page was of upcoming rapper Snot in what appears to be a Nocta puffer jacket. So to my knowledge, this photo is our first look at Drake's new label. Uploading this picture to an Instagram account called 12182020 was a pretty weird move because it made me think, is this just going to be a one-time capsule collection? Why would you name your Instagram account after a specific date if this is going to be an ongoing partnership? Well, it appears Drake and Nike came to the same realization and the page has since been renamed to Official Nocta. And if you go there now, it looks like they've unarchived a few posts prior to the snot photo as well as uploaded a few new pictures. And in my opinion, this collection really does have Drake written all over it because these are the exact types of pieces you'd expect to see him wearing. At this point, we knew a little bit more about Nocta, but it was still pretty mysterious. Now fast forward to December 2nd, which was just a few days ago, and Drake and Nike officially announced their new joint venture via a series of new photos and an article detailing Drake's inspiration for Nocta. In the article, which I'll link in the description, Drake reflects on his longtime desire for this type of partnership, saying, I remember watching all these athletes repping Nike, each doing the unthinkable, and how inspiring it was. I always felt like there was an opportunity for Nike to embrace an entertainer the same way they had athletes. I thought about how crazy it would have been and what it would have meant for an artist to have a flagship Nike deal. Now the key thing here is flagship Nike deal. If you're a Drake fan like me, you'll know that Drake has a long history of working with Nike that dates back as far as 2013 and includes a number of OVO Jordan brand collaborations and more recently Nike branded certified Loverboy merch. That being said, since this is a flagship deal, this is not just another collaboration, but instead it really is more of a partnership. If I had to make the comparison, it basically means that the relationship between Nocta and Nike will be similar to the relationship between Jordan Brand and Nike. Speaking of which, one thing we really haven't seen yet is a Nocta Nike sneaker. I'm guessing there is going to be one, but the only sneaker in the promo material has been an unbranded Air Max 95, and I'm even wondering if this is being done intentionally to prevent people from thinking this is just an expansion of Drake's past sneaker collaborations. In fact, in the interview, Drake says, With Nocta, we were trying to make the hardest jacket, the hardest tracksuit, the hardest gloves. Just the best of that world. There's no mention of sneakers here, so maybe they really will just be focusing on apparel for now, but only time will tell. Obviously, this is a huge achievement for Drake, but at the same time, I think that this is a huge achievement for Nike, because he's undoubtedly one of the biggest stars in the world. And if you remember, he even almost left Nike for Adidas back in 2018. So getting him to stay and commit to a partnership like this is a major accomplishment. And I don't want to get too crazy here because there's still a lot we don't know about Nocta, but I'm wondering if this is even Nike's attempt at answering back to North Face's resounding success in the outerwear market. I know that sounds a bit extreme, but if you think about it, Nike's a major apparel company that has never had any type of popular puffer jacket, or even any signature winter wear line. If you're going to try and break into that market, then working with Drake is not a bad place to start. Anyways, as of right now, we know for sure that the first collection will be released on December 18th of 2020, and it looks like it will be dropping on Nocta.com, which I will also link in the description down below. That's all I have to say about the new label for now, because that's basically everything we know at this point. But I will personally be watching this very closely, because I think that this has the potential to turn into something really special. Other than that, thank you for watching Threducation, and I'll see you next time.